Hello everyone, Sunset Look 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Corrupted Land. A mod that simply adds in the ability for Flash to pretty much have a way of making corrupted blocks. So, we'll just take a look. So, you know, that's the case, and so on. Brown Flash will seep into the land beneath and slowly corrupt it. Uh, stepping on it will poison us. Mobs will be healed and animals are damaged. And uh, yeah, there is prevention of griefing and you can harvest the blocks and so on. So, get a pickaxe of the wooden and shovel of the wooden variety. And yeah, we'll just get some rotten flesh and just try placing it everywhere. Because obviously, I could, you know, have a bunch of zombies and eventually the despawning of it will be the case, but. Uh, We'll just throw this down. So let's just see what happens, because I have no idea what sort of expectations we'll get. I have no idea. So let's see what we get. I don't know if it has to actually despawn though. Or attempt to despawn. Uh, when flesh despawns, it corrupts the block. Okay. So we're going to be waiting a bit for this. Uh, for the most part though, in the meantime, we'll just take a look at many of these. Not only just by the design, but also what we can do with them. So, standing on any of them will give us poison for a second. There is that. Um, can we just attempt to break these on their own? Yes, we can. But it's not going to do much breaking this. There's that. Now, can we still touch them, for example? I am actually curious. Because I don't think he can, I think it was done on purpose to avoid stuff like that happening. Oop. I'm pretty sure, at least. So I'm gonna get this, and get this, and get this. So let's see, this we cannot, and that we can't either. So yeah, so you can't have them drop. Or if it is supposed to, it's supposed to drop the regular one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was saying box gives the original block in return, apparently. Which there isn't. Um, maybe it's just because I spawned those in. Technically, stuff doesn't usually work that way, but I don't know. I'm just going to assume. That's just going to be there. And in terms of ones that we actually have, you've got cobble, you've got dirt, grass, sand, and gravel to be aware of. So no clay, no um, stone or anything else. So it's probably just either things you built with, like wood or, oh sorry, cobble or otherwise, and then the sort of natural ones. Obviously you could have wood and other stuff expanded upon, or maybe modded blocks or this and the other, but for the most part it is just that currently. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting rid of the grass, I'm just waiting for the most part. So, yeah. I don't think... But obviously there is like zombies and dispensers of course can throw this stuff out, but for the most part so nothing else really we can do, we just gotta wait. Um, unless I can speed up the tick rate, which we'll try. Nope. So let's see, uh, game roll, random tick speed, we'll just go 10,000 or something. I don't think that speeds up despawning, but we'll see. Get the resources out of here, I guess, for now then. Something. Okay. So we're just waiting for the most part here. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got our grass converted and we've got our dirt converted, so that's going at a rapid rate. So yeah, and also we're in peaceful, so obviously it's not too bad, but yeah, so it removes the grass and flowers easily, and the rest of the flesh is just there, so I don't know if that means that it's just one? Okay, so even pets are just going to be suffering. So I don't know if it's just one flesh that has it do that, or it's say multiple or something, because I have no idea what the case is there. I really don't know what extent it goes to. We don't have like converted mobs or anything. 
either. So, yeah, but it reaches quite far, it seems. Oop. Okay. Is that sand? It doesn't on water, or it's just. Oh, what extent have you gone? Wow, actually, really far, surprisingly. That's that's actually really far, and I don't. That's the thing is, I don't know how to determine it. No, no, it's still going. Okay. So yeah, building a structure in the sky is probably a good idea, um, or maybe near water, because I don't think the water's converted. Is it? Any of the blocks under the water is not converted, and it's just surface level. Is it even? Let's see. Mob's just suffering there, unfortunately. Okay, so it does go into cave systems a bit. It ignores andesite and diorite and everything else that can't be converted yet, that makes sense. Um, but water. Water it doesn't seem to affect these blocks at all. So you could build with water and it would be perfectly fine as well, it seems. So if we just go down here... Oh, nope, nope, oh. Okay, so just block updates then? I have no idea. Yeah, just block updates or something. Oh, okay, and the stone turns to cobble. Right, that makes sense. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so it does eventually go for it when there's block updates, at least. It doesn't completely ignore it. Alright. It just hasn't gone to here yet, because maybe there's not much flesh or there's not much other stuff going on. Interesting, but yeah. Um, if you want something to be a bit more difficult, uh, then you can obviously do this as well and completely make the game tougher with trying to avoid poison or um, I guess try in a way make something a bit more useful for a map I guess to sort of give a theme if you wanted for um, saying that that uh, some infection or some other type of thing has changed the world or so you've got like a planet or something that did have life and then eventually such and such or it always was this way or something there's still life on it I don't know whatever sort of theme you can come up with um, obviously it would be possible but uh yeah for the most part that seems to be it thanks so much for watching and goodbye